Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back for another Ryobi OnePlus 18 volt tool unboxing video. Now let's see what we've got. We have the Ryobi Cortless SDS Rotary Hammer Drill. Now this is one of the 18 volt tools. It's got three mode selectors and it's got a compact and lightweight design. Look, it says so right there, so it must be right. I'll just give you a look at the back of the box. It's again got the integrated LED light and it's got the SDS chuck and I'll explain what that is in a second for those people that don't know the difference. It's lightweight and compact. And now it's got a drilling capacity in steel up to 13 millimeters wood up to 16 millimeters and masonry up to 16 millimeters so up to 16 millimeters this is fine and i bought this for work for some quick fast little jobs like putting up shelving putting up some hose reels just drilling some holes and not having to run out cords all the time i just like to be able to grab this take it out into someone's backyard or something and drill some holes. Now before I actually unbox it, I'll show you what an SDS hammer drill bit is. Here's some normal hammer concrete brick drill bits, okay? These will just fit into the normal drill and they've got the um, masonry bit ends on them. And you just use them with your standard drill which has got a few different options. This is my Ryobi drill. So that's got a drilling option, a driving option, and a hammer option, which you can switch between there. These are all right for a little job. If you need to drill a small hole just to put a plug in or something, and um, you just put the drill bit in, set it on hammer, and you'll be able to drill a hole in some sort of softer brick type materials. Okay, so that's a normal standard masonry bit. Now, SDS bits are something like this. They're more like a commercial gray drill bit. And they've got a fitting like that for your SDS chuck. Okay, so they're very different to normal drill bit. They've all got that size, they've all got that size. I've got a whole set here ranging from 6 to 12 mil. And these are sort of common sizes. And I've also got a 16 mil one here, which I do use occasionally. So I've got a set here that ranges from 6 millimeters to 16 millimeters. Now I've also got a 20 mil bit there that I use occasionally. However, I always use a corded drill for that. I do not use a battery drill. So these are the drill bits that I'll be using with my new Ryobi SDS cordless rotary hammer drill. So let's open up the box and see what we actually get. First thing out of the box, the instruction book. That's all there is. Next thing out of the box, the actual drill. That's it there, okay? Very nice looking machine, very, very handy. Okay, here's the different settings that you can use for your drill. It's got a forward and reverse setting there, which is easy to operate. And there's your trigger. It's currently set on hammer drill. You can also set it to just plain drill, no hammer. It's got the LED light there. Now to fit your drill bit, you simply just push it in and it clicks in and you can see it's got a decent hammer action there. It won't actually do it without pressing against anything. But you can see how much motion you've got there in the hammer action. So it's got a decent kick for the hammer setting on this and that's mainly what I'm going to be using it for. I don't think I'll really be using the other settings because for the normal drilling setting, I'll just be using my normal battery drill. I'm actually going to go out and use this today for a very quick and basic job of putting up a hose reel, believe it or not. We'll see how it works and I'll talk to you when we get back.
Okay, as you just saw, this thing seems to work pretty well. It did the holes quite easily. And overall, I'm very, very happy with this drill. I'm hoping I'll get many years of convenience out of it. And this is mainly what you're buying. If you're buying the convenience, a lot of people don't need an SDS hammer drill. But if you use one semi-regularly, like myself, this is going to be a lifesaver because nine out of 10 times, I've only just got to go out, drill three or four holes. So just the time saving of not having to get a cord find the power point, run the cord out, plug the drill in, drill two holes, roll the power cord up, put everything back in the truck. I can just walk over to the truck, grab this, drill the holes, walk back to the truck, and I've literally saved myself, you know, two thirds of the time. Like half the time, more than half the time is spent running out power cords, power points, getting access to properties so you can get power. Yeah, you don't need any of that. I'll just grab this, job done. And so this is going to be a great time saver for me in my work and I'm really, really going to get some good use out of this, I think. And I, look, I think this will pay for itself in no time. You can get a healthy one of these or Kanga at probably three or four times the price. I don't use it that much. I used to use a healthy years ago because we used to drill 300 holes a day or 200 holes a day. So you really got to look at what your specific purpose of use is. Okay. At best, I'll be drilling eight holes or 10 holes every other day. Whereas in my old job, where we used to use the healthy drills, some days we used to drill 500 holes a day. Like we just had someone, the drill was going on stop. We just had someone drilling holes. There was someone going along marking holes and someone was going in behind drilling holes. Change the battery, keep drilling holes. Change the battery, keep drilling holes. Okay, whereas, you know, you wouldn't buy that if that was your job. But for just having to drill the occasional handful of holes a couple of times a week, this is going to last for years and years and years and pay for itself quite quickly, quite quickly, just in the time saving. I think the time saving will pay for itself in about a month for me. So once I've been using this for about three to four weeks, I think it's paid for itself in time saving. And time is money, you know, it's hourly rate. Time is money. If I can do the job in 20 minutes and be out of there, rather than having to spend 20 minutes rolling out power cords and then packing everything back up, you know, I've already paid for this in no time. If you've got any questions about this drill, leave a comment down below and I'll try and do my best to answer your question. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button, not the brand new drill, for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.